what's going on guys welcome back to my personal youtube channel if you already are not subscribed to the dennis family make sure to subscribe and also subscribe to our the Basha family hello Basha friends family. today we are going to be spilling all of the tea, all the tea. on julie basha yes. so let's get right into it starting with question number one babies so I feel like a lot of you guys kind of know the answer to this one. I wanted us, we want to start our family super young. Like that's always been like a goal of mine. I feel like for you guys, you guys didn't really plan it out and no. y'all just had your baby really young. And I feel like for us, we really want to. Um, but with Gabe's tumor and all, we're kind of like, we've been to fertility doctors and things like that. We've kind of been working with the doctors. So we really want to, but it's kind of up in God's hands whether or not it's going to happen as soon as we want it to. Um, but the answer is yes, babies. Lots and lots of babies. That brings us to the topic about how I feel like not saying it's always the ones that aren't wanting the baby, but it's always the ones that aren't trying or aren't, like, planning it mm -hmm. to happen. Like, you track your cycle. You know when's the best time to get pregnant. And I'm over here, like, not even tracking. <laughs> takes I'm, a plan B. Takes a plan B. <laughs> I'm on birth control. And, and then here's baby Asher. And here's the baby. And it just blows my mind. It is crazy how it happens that way, but I also, like, I know that God always has a plan, and, like, that was y'all's plan, mm -hmm. and it, you, at the time, you probably were freaking out, you know, you weren't, like, you were excited, but it was, like, a freak out moment, and then you have me over here, like, just, like, wanting it and begging and, like, right. like yearning for it. Because imagine like, if you would have got pregnant before you found out I had a tumor. Then it would have been, like, our whole life would have been completely changed, and it would have been not a good deal, I think. It would have been, like, chaos. Completely. I think it would have, I wouldn't have been able to handle it, to be completely honest. I feel like Gabe getting a tumor has really grown me up and, like, gotten me ready to be a mom one day, because I feel like taking care of my spouse is, like, I'm Definitely. learning how to be more selfless and things like that. Definitely. Too. Because you all waited till marriage, 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 and you all moved in after marriage, whereas me and Christian already lived together. Right. And, like, we didn't wait till marriage. Yeah, so I feel like learning, you know, intimacy with your partner, learning how to live with them, learning, you know, his medications and how he is. Like, right now, like, he's sleeping, and y'all are like, where'd Gabe go? I'm like, oh, you know, just a normal little nap because of his medications and things like that. So, like, I'm glad that, you know, we didn't get pregnant as fast as I thought we would have. Um, well, I'm not pregnant right now, meaning, like, having the right. baby, like, as soon as we wanted to. Because I feel like it would have been complete chaos and a mess. And I don't think me and Gabe would even be in a relate. We wouldn't have the re relationship we have now if we wouldn't have grown to know each other this last year. So, right, right. Um, Are you going to spill any of these baby names? Um, I have once on one of my videos. I really like the name Collins for a girl. And name like, calling her Collie for short. But a lot of my friends that I know in real life are naming their baby that. And so, I'm uh, like, that, like, yeah, see, know. that kind of... And I have lots of boy names, but I mean, I feel like I'm going to end up being a boy mom for some reason. Really? I just feel See, like I wouldn't get all, like, the boy mom shirts and stuff, but, like... You don't know what you're going to have yeah, next. Yeah, and, like, <clears throat> I would get all the boy mama's gear, <clears throat> and then, like, I'd find out I'm pregnant again, mm -hmm. and be like, well, crap, like, if it's a girl... If it's a girl, you're a both mom. And then you don't wear a shirt. It's like, both moms. I feel like they'd be, like... Yeah, I would just be like, weird. mama, like... Like, mama, yeah. Why do we look like siblings? Um, the, it's just because we're cute like that. Because we are siblings. Because we are. Her. Just kidding. Long lost sister. She just moved to Kentucky when I was born. <laughs> are not siblings. What do you look for in a friendship? I look for, not similarities, because I feel like in relationships, if you're the same, it won't work. It butts head. But I feel like we're the same in a lot of ways. But I think, like, whenever you're talking to someone and they vibe with what you're saying, and it's like... I don't know how to explain it, but I think, like, similarities but not being the exact same. I think when they care about what you say. It's exactly. not like I tell you something and then, like, you just pop off to something about you. Right. Well, if you know, you've been on the phone. Like, you've seen, like, how, like, with other friendships, I feel like it's always, like, them talking about them and them always, it's all about them and it's never a chance for me to say something about me. And I feel like being on social media, my friendships, they think that because I post on the social media that I'm fine, but it's like, I still need to be checked on. I still right. need to be asked, like, hey, are you right. okay? And just because I, I post, like, hey, I had a bad day, doesn't mean, like, I have a friend that she reached out to me and she's like, hey, I feel like, you know, you posted you had a bad day today and because you posted it, I didn't even think to ask you if you were okay. And I feel like because you do social media, you relate to that. And I feel like we check on each other all the time because we know how it is to be so open in public. Right. And, you know, it's just because you posted, you know, you're having a bad day doesn't mean that I don't need to text you like, hey, 
Are you I okay? Let's talk about it. You it's know, it's more on the side of like when you're not posting, mm -hmm. or like if you have a bad day, it's the hey, I saw you posted. Like, I just want to let you know, like, yeah. if you need a call or talk. Like, yeah. even though we have amazing husbands, honestly, that for will sure. be there for us to talk to, it's not the same. It's not the same. And you know, I they ain't got a uterus. <laughs> I know, right? They don't understand. But I feel like for me, like, whenever me and Gabe first got together, I didn't cut out my friends, but I thought that like he is my everything and he is my best friend, and I feel like that's why our relationship works because he is my best friend. Yes. But it's also really good to have those girl friendships because you can just get on a level with them that like nobody else understands. And let's be honest, Christian wouldn't care less about the woman drama I or anything that I ever it. had to spill with him. <laughs> What's your favorite Starbucks order? Honestly, my new favorite is actually going to be the Christian Dennis drink. The Christian Dennis um, drink. It is, tell them what it is. It is an iced grande brown sugar oat shaken espresso with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and salted cream cold foam with whipped cream. I love it. Um, we actually found it from one of my friends that I follow, Anna Kate, and mm -hmm. I got it in the airport, <laughs> and then Christian fell in love with it, and then now he gets that. And now I don't think I'll ever order anything else because it's like that perfect mixture of like sweet, but not too sweet, because like I feel like sometimes white chocolate mochas can be too sweet, and like that is just like the perfect balance. Why do you always have your mouth open in pictures? Because I honestly, the real answer to that question is I don't know. Like whenever it like gets caught off guard, like, like, whenever you smile, you have to put your tongue out. Like, I notice you, like, go. Like, I'm like, and then, like, I go. I feel so, like it's just a signature pose. I like, know, I think it is, too. Like, I've always done that. And, like, since we're already, 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 already. Already, already. We're already smiley. Like, we're always giddy. It's I know, it's just, like, like, like kind of, like, yeah. It's, like, a little something else to, like, add to it. Or, like, whenever we're, like, hanging out, we're, like, do a different face. And I'm, like, yeah, we're having a great day. Yeah, or, like, I'm, like, hey. I know, so it's just my, it's just my face, y'all. How many kids do you want? Okay, so we've talked about it. I used to say I want like five or four, but honestly being around them and seeing like all the work and like I knew that babies are work, but like seeing how y'all tag team and y'all are like just like this perfect couple, like I, it makes me want to have like a million babies, but like... <laughs> But, like, I think, honestly, for me and Gabe, because we already have three dogs, and having three dogs is a lot, I think maybe, maybe two or three. I don't know. We'll see. Depending yeah. on how birth and pregnancy is. Yeah, I feel like my view on babies was, like, I want, like, four. And then, like, you go through birth and pregnancy, and it's like, mm, I think I want to give naturally birth to two and adopt two. Yeah, I don't know. I think after I experience pregnancy, I think I'll be able to decide better. Um, but other than that, I think off the top of my head, two or, th or three or four. What is your favorite part about marriage? Um, my favorite part is being with someone for six years, but still learning new things about them. Like, I feel like I can learn something new. Like, not anything new, like a big new, but, like, just getting to know him deeper and more. And also saving ourselves for marriage, like, getting on another level. Like, I didn't think our love could grow more than what it has. Mm -hmm. And then getting on that intimacy level is just, like, a completely different thing. It's, like, it's I insane. feel like with, like, waiting to marriage and, like, moving in and stuff... It's like you're still in that dating phase, but then like the excitement is more like there mm -hmm. and the love is more there because like yeah. it's like learning to like live together right. and what works for each other and I mean being able to work through it because some people can't do it. Yeah, it, honestly it was hard, like especially with him being sick. The first year was really hard and I feel like a lot of people always say we were like robbed of like our honeymoon phase, but I feel like we, you know, we worked through it, we got through it, but I think I love just learning new things about him. It's just so much fun. That's so sweet. What's your biggest regret? Um... My biggest regret is allowing people to walk all over me and letting people think they know me and me just laying down and playing dead, like, let them, you know? That's probably one of my biggest Kind of letting the haters, like, take over. Letting them of, take over my life last year, for sure. Instead of, like, just letting it go and just continuing past it. I literally let them, like, my whole body would shake. I couldn't sleep at night. I... Like, that's when I started gaining weight. That's when I stopped, like, being me. Like, a lot of my followers know, like, they're, like, there's, like, a shift in, like, my content. There's, like, a shift in me. And, like, I feel like I'm just now starting to get back to me. But you're still here. You never stop posting. And I feel like so many people, when they get the hate you get, yeah. they'll just stop. And they're, like, I'm never doing this again. And then they'll, all, like, pop back on the social media and act like nothing ever happened. I feel like that was, like, one of my strongest things that I did in that time was like not stopping posting and not stopping showing things um but I will say like I did let them like overtake me I'm right. so mad at myself for that what's your favorite thing about me I love how positive and uplifting you are not only people you know but like like just random people like I said this in my video like just random people she just like like lifts them up and she is just the sweet spirit like you have the sweet spirit and like the way her and Christian are like it 
truly has been like so inspiring like I know I keep saying it even off camera but like just like the way they team and how like yesterday when we were talking about like how you were busy and he took care of Asher and how like just the words you choose and the way you talk to him just like you were uplifting him and encouraging him and apologizing without apologizing because you weren't sorry because you didn't do anything wrong but like just the way y'all team I just love the way you are like, I think you're just overall Aww. just a really good person thank you it's took a lot of like learning our relationship because like I used to be the one that would say sorry even when I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just, like, my, like, chain reaction. So, like, learning the way to, like, say things and show my emotion because I'm a very emotional person has changed my whole perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, instead of being, like, oh, I'm sorry that I went out and I had, like, a good day but I did nothing wrong. I'm, like, I'm sorry. Not, like, necessarily sorry. Like, I know you're overstimulated from having him all day mm -hmm. and he hasn't been the best. Let me take over and you just sit there and chill. Yeah. But then he also, like, wasn't mad at you. He right. was very, like, on the same page as you and encouraging as well. So it just was, like, beautiful. Like, it just so makes me happy. Like, even though we've only been together for six years, it's like we've been married for, like, three of the years. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're already, like, two years ahead of you all because mm -hmm. of that. And I feel like because y'all did live together before marriage and y'all have that, like, foundation, me and Gabe are still going through the phase of, like, learning things. Like, Definitely. how we live life together and how, like, how, like, I do my clothes a certain way and he washes you know everything and is just different not to like aggravate in exactly. the wrong way exactly. like say the wrong thing and then it like tugs them exactly that was a thing we really worked through because like I would really get I would pop off from mm -hmm. anger and being like don't talk to me or go away like mm -hmm. I don't want this and it's like learning to just like we do where we sit there for a minute and be quiet before we say anything yeah I'm so we don't that. regret what, what we you say. say for me when I get mad I either say a lot or I say nothing and when I'm quiet, that's how you know I'm, like, mad mad. But, like, we're learning that even though we're mad, it's okay to talk it out and talk about your, what you're feeling without yelling, without getting upset, without attacking each other. You just talk about what you're feeling and stop pointing the finger, you know? Yeah. Brings us to our last question. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Okay, so I have a few, but this is one that, like, you know when you're laying in bed at night and you think of something and it, like, shoots you out of bed and you're like, oh, my God, why did I say that? One time we went out to eat. It was like me and Gabe were first together. And I had, when we first got together, we really didn't hang out with our families because we weren't, we weren't able to drive. And so we would hang out at church. Mm -hmm. So when we really started like getting together and like going on dates and stuff like that with our families when he turned 16. Um, I had really never been around his like other family. So like his uncle and aunts and like grandpa. Mm -hmm. Well, for his birthday, no, 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 it was for fine arts. So we did fine arts in Kentucky where we met, which was close to where you live. And then we did another one the next year and it was in Houston. And we went out to eat at this like seafood restaurant and his aunt and uncle were there. And his grandpa was there. His mom and dad were there. All his siblings were there and they go to pray. And I was so uncomfortable and they went to grab hands. And I went, oh my God, we do that here? I was like, we pray? It's like Thanksgiving. And everyone went silent. And everyone looked at me and they were like, well, who did you think we were? You don't think we pray? And then they were all making jokes about it. And then for the longest time, every time we would go to pray, the aunt would be like, do we do this? Like, do we pray? And I was like, oh my God. Like, every time I think about it, I cringe. Because I'm like, why did I say that? Like, I feel like everyone has like a cringe. It's just in the moment, like new surroundings and like... Yeah. Um, with us, we kind of are outgoing and we can easily learn ourselves. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you can't read someone or they're, like, how they deal with stuff, it, like, puts you in that predicament, like, yeah. am I too much? I felt um, too much. And I was, like, really loud. And back then, like, I was very quiet and timid. And I've changed a lot. And I feel like it was just awkward because everyone went silent and just, like, looked at me. And, like, nobody said anything. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, Drew, don't ever talk again. Shut up. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that concludes our juicy questions. I hope we answered all that you have for Miss Drew and cleared up all the the tea. The exposure. Exposing Drew Bashel. Drew is an amazing Problematic. person. <laughs> amazing person. <laughs> and let us know in the comments what videos you want to see in the future. Yep. Because we might have some more crazy things coming up. <laughs> so, with that being said, we'll see you all on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace.